you go down to the uh, oh, I went down all right Hollywood strip to a gift shop. This was actually at the farmers market, the Grove. We went there and oh, we so were you just paid walking fifteen dollars as opposed to five. No, it was actually it was actually nine dollars. I saw it and I went, oh, I love this. And I showed it to Andrani. She said, that's awesome. So I got it. Hey, welcome back to our stupid RX of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe, like, button. You having any tech difficulties on uh, X over there, Twitter? Having any problems? When you're over there? No. The, no. Form, the foreign president did. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't listening. Anyways, no, welcome I. back. Today we got a movie review. And today we're doing a movie review uh, with Rick, uh, specifically to Tank! <laughs> Tank! The best. Because there's a lot of movies that go by acronyms. Yeah, this one's the best. Um, this one's the best for I mean, acronyms. There's K3G. Yeah. That's a good one. But it's not as fun to say as tank. No, tank is so fun to say. <laughs> what a fun thing to say. It is. If there's a better tank. acronym for a movie, let me and know. And if you just add a couple of other le letters, it's cankles. <laughs> she got the cankles. Cankles. Where's the ankle begin and the leg end? I don't know. I but I like it. I did not have sex relations <laughs> with that ankle. <laughs> Just kidding, I did. <laughs> anyway, Skip today we're doing toilet. a movie review with a, uh, of the Tank! Uh, with, Tank! Uh, directed and written by Karan Johar, uh, composed by Shankar Mahavadin, starring all of them. Every single person in Bollywood. Ever. Yep, everybody in Bollywood ever. Uh, Shabra Khan, Amitabh Bakchan, yep. Abhishek Bakchan, yep. Rani Mukherjee, yep. and uh, Pri Zinta. Yep. Uh, it's obviously a 100% spoiler review. Yeah. Because it came out in 2006. Yeah. And you've all seen it. Yeah. So, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of Kank! <laughs> well, uh, you had thought, and I'd l I think I know why, so does Andrani. You had thought I, I would not like this film. Well, I hadn't seen it before, so I was no, just going off what people uh, said. What other people had said. Yep, yep. Now, what were the reasons they thought I wouldn't like it? Because we had a particular reason we think that the thoughts were out there that I, that I would not like uh, it. Infidelity, for one. You've had that issue in the right, past with, right. for, with films. Right. Uh, Kern Johar, you yep. haven't always loved Correct. his style. Right. And I then, have t at times, but yes, not at it's times. A, it's a crap shoot. And it's a beginning early 2000s right. Bollywood, so everything's over the top and right. melodramatic. All right. Well, we'll get so into the whether or not those predictions were all accurate or not. The reveal will come with, I think it's interesting. I didn't plan it this way, but my metal system mm -hmm. just so happened to come out during the year of the Olympics. Oh, wow. Cool. Aren't I cool? No. Oh, not at all. Is that gold or bronze? That is gold. <laughs> I, the only reason it's not platinum so is because platinum films enter the echelons of the stuff that I think should be submitted to the Oscars and are, 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 you're the first people. This Kank is, is gold. Kank. Wait, didn't Doom get gold? Kank, it yes. Doom, Doom, Doom got gold too. <laughs> Kank is not just gold. Same kind of category? As Doom? I, Kank, like, I don't have enough ways to say how much I love this movie. You I love, love this movie. Oh, wow. Yeah, I absolutely love even the spots where there were some cringe moments and I was like, okay, enough. They, they stopped. Mm -hmm. But I loved it and we'll get into more of my thoughts on that. But what did you think of it? Uh, well, we did a watch along with Steph. Obviously, you're going to see this the same. And I actually was pissed because I was looking at Indrani and I said, I would have loved to have done this as a watch along. Well, you, you got to watch it with your wife who loves this movie. I know, but I didn't get to watch it with stupid babies. Well, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, they got to see it with Steph. Uh, but anyways, obviously, so you seeing this the same night that you're going to see um, the, the last part of our watch along with Steph. Um, but we enjoyed this movie. Uh, especially as a whole, I think in, in terms of directing, it's actually one of his better... And the in terms writing. Of, in terms of, like, actual directing and how he um, pieced it all together, I think it was very, very well done. Uh, and it was an enjoyable film. Uh, it's not one that I'm going to revisit, though. Oh, my goodness. Not because... I of, will not, revisit it again and again. Not because of the quality, and because I think, actually, the quality is very good. And Steph said the exact same thing. I, she, she, she specifically, she's like, I don't want to see Shao Kahn like this. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Just like the masses felt when it came out. Yeah, no, we were. No, see, here's the difference, though. 
I don't mind seeing them that way, but just like I'm never gonna watch the Marriage Story again. <laughs> I would. No, I'm. I don't. Care oh, to. Yo, the acting is brilliant. I'd watch oh. it just for their scene together where he punches the wall. Exactly the same kind of thing. Oh, great! I, I freaking acting. I agree with you. But if I'm <sighs> going in, especially if I want a Shah Rukh Khan fix, he has such bangers in terms of rewatchability of his films. K3G, DDLJs, all these oh, other I ones so that are disagree. like such, such, it's such stuff like that. I so this disagree. This is not one that I will probably ever accept for all of Sexy Sam scenes. Now, I will. Okay. <laughs> he was my favorite. Sexy Sam. I love Sexy Sam. Is the stuff of legends. So, I already told Steph we're replacing that, uh, I'm going to talk about up there with that picture of Sexy yes. Sam in the uh, There's in the so fridge. much to talk about with this movie that is that is great. So, is it, the, the Shah Rukh Khan aspect of it, is, is it because... You both don't want to see him in a negative character? Well, no, okay, here's the thing. We think he did a very good job. We like that he did it. It's more the rewatchability of it. I don't want to live in this world with him. That's what I'm saying. Oh. One, because I think they're all awful. Uh, oh, I <laughs> awful, oh, really? Awful people. <laughs> Even at the end of the day? Yeah. One, especially what? especially Shah Rukh Khan as a father. Oh, he was an, he was an absolute awful toxic Awful, awful father. Awful, awful human uh, yeah, being. Yeah, really, <laughs> really, right? Who's a terrible person? So once again, it's not about the quality. We think everybody did a very good job. But hats off to him. Oh, I agree with and you. And Karen Johar for going. Let's make you this dick. I mean, I'm not. I'd love it that he did it. Oh. I'm more just talking about the rewatchability of it. But the ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much grace and redemption in the ending of this movie. Were you just screaming the entire time oh. for them to get a divorce? Because I was. For, for, for uh, all of them. Oh, for uh, at the very, yeah, it the was begin, obvious. Literally, the, when he was like, your yes. favorite thing to do is clean on the weekend. Yeah. I was like, good God, divorce him now. It's so <laughs> obvious that these two marriages from the get go. Yeah. They, they just, they did not start. The, they just should not have been married, both mm. of them, and 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 uh, yeah. But yeah. I have so many good things to oh, say yeah. about this movie. So do I. One of the, one of the things, the, the little things I disliked that I thought, okay, can we move on from that? Dude, what, what was it? Well, it was it was SRK. Um, <laughs> the one the one moment where they're walking and he has not in the cold weather because they made sure to put hot water in his drink in the cold weather, but he's walking with Ronnie and he has a. a coffee it's like a starbucks coffee thing and he's not even trying to make it look like there's a beverage in there <laughs> he's drinking air and i thought good grief that is so lazy come on at least make it look like you're drinking a drink man i know you're a capable enough actor to make us believe you're drinking a drink come on <laughs> it's such a you complaint <sighs> it really is because it's so lazy <laughs> it's not, just so at the end of the I'm day it's so with you. you know what it's like it's, it's like watching a you complaint it's, 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 it's like watching it's like watching Stanton hit a ground ball into a double play and trotting to first. Ugh. Run, you son of a... Anyway. <laughs> it's such a you so play. It is. Uh, okay, so the things I love. First of yeah. all, it's about... I said this at the very beginning. I turned to Androni and I said, if this is another film where I watch Ronnie get her heart broken by Shah Rukh Khan, I'm going to be really pissed off. I was so happy that she didn't get shafted by getting shafted. Oh, Because uh, she got shafted, if you know what I'm saying. And I don't, man, I hope she was hydrating. The amount of tears that woman had to shed everybody was crying mm -hmm. but ronnie mm -hmm. who i mean my goodness had, I, is there a film she's ever looked more beautiful in oh she was gorgeous oh my goodness absolutely and gorgeous are, 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 is her eye color grazel I, I i said she looked like she had cat eyes yeah she, they're grazel it's like it's like hazel and green combined yeah. she and every moment, it, leave it to the ladies, because Kajal does this with Shah Rukh Khan a lot. It's like, <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan will go, beep, beep, beep. And they'll go, okay, let's just bring it right back down here for a second. <laughs> I, yeah, she did I thought, a great job. I, I, I thought there were some moments with Abhishek yeah. where I just, I turned and Ronnie and I said, and this is why Corwin and I root for him yeah, so much. He does, he's a great job. Did he do a great job? I, I hated his character. Yeah. I despised his character. But he did a great job. Yes, he did. No, then my issue is not the like the 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 quality at all, and it's not really an issue. That song, which one? Which one? The main theme, the main the main theme that keeps going oh, through okay. the whole. Gotcha. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's just that is. We've seen, I think, most of the songs yeah, from this movie. We did, and we saw the big the big scenes where they basically. Uh, it was basically the end of it. Yeah, but we didn't know that. plot points. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't know, know plot points. Didn't and what the points. hell with Shah Rukh Khan and trains? 
It just never ends. <laughs> never ends. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm so shocked. I liked this more than you. No, you didn't. I, yeah, blah, you said you won't revisit it. I love okay, this and yeah. want to watch it again and again. In that sense, yes. Yeah. In that sense, yes. I, I, I would watch K3G in terms of just. I want to enjoy Shah Rukh Khan and the, the oh, movies. Oh, I enjoy. I enjoy. Um, you know what's one of the reasons I enjoyed him so much? The writing in this is so freaking good. There are so many banger lines that oh, are like gut punching. Yeah. You go, wow, that is so deep. Even his last line when he talks about the foundations for everything were yeah. so broken and I'm glad we all finally got to the place where we were happy, but I wish it didn't have to be paved with so many broken hearts. Yeah. Well, it's, it's one of the reasons I, I, all these people, even though they all did a very good job, Abhishek, Preeti, uh, she was probably the most redeemable one in the film. Oh, um, no, no, no. They're all human. Uh, dun, dun. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you said you hated them all. I hated Abhishek oh. and Shah Rukh Khan because one, not only was he like being a dick basically by the end of obviously the marriage, um, but God, he him as a father is like one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like he, but we agree, boys he, shouldn't play violin, right? Exactly. Of course, he he rivals Big B and K three G in yeah. terms of being like one of the worst Just fathers toxic, I've ever seen in my life. Awful father, calling his kid an idiot. Yeah, his kid literally flinched when he was near him. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it was call terrible. CPS now. Yeah. Send him to jail. He was terrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was awful to watch um, <laughs> a father like that, and so just seeing. All in Abhishek was just this so such a I didn't understand. Like he kept saying, I loved you so much, you're my world, and I never saw that. Oh, I did. I never saw that from Abhishek. I did. No. I absolutely I saw him did. gaslighting her into thinking of, that he did. No, he absolutely when they were fighting, he absolutely would gaslight. And gas then light also her. thinking that, you know, he pays some attention, but her favorite thing to do is clean on the weekend. Yeah, no. The the difference was that he was completely blind to he he fell prey to what a lot of people fall prey to, which is you think that by expressing the love the way you want to express it, that that's enough. Yeah. And the other person should understand that you love them because you're loving them the way you love. Yep. And that doesn't always When you're not work. loving them the way that they need to be loved. Right. Because yeah. uh, and that, uh, and that It's a two-sided street. It's a t exactly. Yeah. And that can be very confounding to somebody who it's feels like selfish. they've done anything and everything they can to express their love and the other person just doesn't get it. And then there's the times, which is true. I don't think, I think she loved him, but I don't think she was in love with him. I think she genuinely cared about him. Well, yeah. Cause didn't were, want him hurt. They were basically since childhood. Yes. Yeah, they knew each other since childhood. And, but, but he, I, I thought that he definitely, the ending of it to me evidences the fact that both Preeti and Abhishek loved Shah Rukh Khan and Rani and that they, the fact, this is one of my favorite parts of the story. The fact that when it all comes out and all the desolation happens, yeah. that for three years, both Dev and uh, uh, Ronnie's character, I forgot the character's name yeah. already. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, that they purposefully lie to each other and stay away from each other evidences the repentance and the fact that they don't believe they should be rewarded for what they've done. They deserve to be alone. They deserve to be broken. They deserve to be out of the lives of those other people. And then when they find out later, three years later, when Preeti and Abhishek have healed and gone past it and realized that they were in broken marriages and they decide, I, I, I looked at Indrani when that moment happened and I said, right before it happened, I said, are they going to be the ones responsible for getting them back together? Because that would be such a redemptive, beautiful thing to end. That's what happened. I love this movie. I, I think it's. I like, love this movie. I think our pessimists and optimists are. I are think are sh shining right <laughs> now. I, yep. I thought it was very selfish of Abhishek to ask her to be his her best man. Extremely selfish. selfish? Yes. Oh, I thought it was so gracious. It's your goddamn ex-wife. No, she's not going to be your best man Who, for your new wedding. That's after you were a dick. No, they absolutely were friends no. all of their lives, and no. he was a dick. She cheated on him. No, he may he, have been an I'm asshole, saying, but she was unfaithful. I'm not saying she was right in that aspect. That's not I what I'm saying. I thought that was a great, sweet, and gracious, and forgive to 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 show her. 
I have forgiven you. What matters One, more to me is our I friendship. I thought when he showed back up, he, they were about to. He was about to ask for her to get back together. Oh, I did. I literally was like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Do not get back together. <laughs> When we when we get and I'm was, saying this by faith when we get to speak with Karan Johar I can't wait to talk about this film with him. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it's I I, I fully agree. Uh, well, I don't agree with all your points. Sexy I, Sam. Oh yeah, Sexy Sam is my favorite part of the movie. I love. It's one of my favorite Big B characters of all time. Sexy Sam. Sexy Sam. I loved his theme music. Oh. I love that he was obsessed with white women. I know. Just boning. Pre very pretty white women. <laughs> and so. I, and I love their relationship that he had with. Uh, you could see why. Kara. Uh, what's her first name? Uh, uh, Anna Pumpkar's wife? Yes. Yeah. Kara. Forgive me again for forgetting her first name. Um, 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 right there. Kieran Kara. Kieran Kara. That's it. Uh, I loved their relationship. Yeah, I thought they had a beautiful relationship. I thought it was very pretty. Yeah, uh, we're gonna. I, I'm trying to find it. If anybody can send it to me, uh, I need the sexy Sam photo when he's he's dead and he's in the photograph. I need it on my wall because I need sexy Sam in my life. Yeah, sexy uh, Sam is <laughs> so freaking great. <laughs> you can see why Abhishek was such a selfish little prick because of you know who he was raised by. Uh, but again, but it's a much better selfish prick than uh, Big B in K3G. Because yeah, and father. and just I'm so I root so much for Abishek. I know you do too. I oh, thought yeah. he did such a good job. I thought everybody did a good job. Again, hats off to for me the score with that oh. main theme. Yeah. And the writing of this this story and some of the line there were at least 15 or 20 lines that are like pff, put those things on a card and put them on your wall and remember them forever just yeah. one of my favorite screenplays where uh where would you put this in your karen johar rank well, it's really I know, really I know high he, uh my name is khan's probably way up there for you obviously. my name is khan is but for watchability my name is khan is not a rewatchable it's it's tough oh, i find that way more rewatchable than this you are so weird <laughs> It's like saying you would you'd 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 you'd. I don't want to live with you'd these people. You'd rather watch a documentary about 9/11 than watch a documentary a about a broken family. Hold on, what's the documentary about? <laughs> How Bush did 9/11? I can watch that one. Uh, <laughs> this is our pessimism, optimism. <laughs> oh yeah, in a, the I best am, way, I am man. Such a pessimist. But uh, uh, I don't believe in people. Uh, I. So Sorry. I actually, this might be so, a shock to you and everybody let me, else. Let me just tell him. Okay. Tell me, okay. Coach Coach Otai, right. K3G, right. this one. Yep. Uh, my name is Khan. Right. We haven't seen Student of the Year yet. Right. And I'm not including Bombay Talkies. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, that's fine. You need to watch this one. I, I know. Uh, I will. Steph and I did that one. That's I, Ideal Hey Mushkil. That's with um, Renvir. Yeah. So you can watch it with with uh, with um, uh, Indrani because um, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, Last Stories Goes to We're Not Including Those. Uh, yeah, no. We're almost through his filmography. I know. So you have that one, but I think the only one that w Student of the Year, I think, is Student of the Year his last film outside of the one that Rick needs to watch of his entire filmography? Maybe. Wow. I didn't know that. I thought we had a, a couple more. So that's, if, it, that's interesting. If, if I was turning on the TV and the only two things that were on at that time, because these are these are going to be. Right, are you doing favorites? Or are you favorites. doing what you think is the best one? My name is Khan is the best. Okay, so that's you're artistically. Doing favorites. My name is Khan is the best artistically. It's the best performed, directed, and written film. I wouldn't agree, but that's fine. I, I, that's I, fine. I would, but as far as the films that are my favorite and I want to revisit and watch all the time, yeah. I have two TV screens on, yep. and I can only watch on that day one of two films. It's going to be either DDLJ or Kank. And God, maybe crazy. six times out of ten, I'm going to be watching you Kank. Crazy! I love this movie. Taking nothing away from how much I enjoyed DDLJ, but you part of the saving grace of DDLJ is the fact that Kajol saves me from... The overdose of Shah Rukh being so off the chain. Stephanie was so happy when Kajal <sighs> showed up in the song. I know, so was I. <laughs> um, but I that that for me is that's probably and and the redemption fact. There's you put so this one at the top? much redemption in this one at the and top the of your theme most, song of the most rewatchable Karen Johar film for me. You are insane. Proud, absolutely insane. I'm very proud to be. This is the bottom. Of terms of rewatchability, if we're talking like, I'm gonna pop this on for a good time. This would be the bottom. No, not 
quality. I'm not saying it's a bad film. I actually think it's a very, very good film. One of his better ones. I agree no. with you in that aspect. I disagree. But in terms of watchability, I watch the, all the fight scenes are so fun to watch, and they're so the fight scenes are so well done and grounded with really strong performances by all of the actors. You get some. You get a little bit of everything in this. You get some of the ridiculous absurdity of DDLJ without it being full carte blanche off the rails. You get really great writing. You get it a beautiful score with one of the most haunting and beautiful love themes in cinematic history. You get sexy Sam. <laughs> yeah. You get great musical Sam. numbers. And then you get a happy, satisfying ending where all of the people have learned from their mistakes and they've changed and repented and grown people don't change and made love and forgiveness <laughs> more important than love. anything else. That's true. They did make love. I, I absolutely. And it just shows the humanity of people. I love this movie. It, it would. Be, I love this it movie. It would be at the bottom in terms of rewatchability for me. Uh, I would happily watch almost every single one of his films, like in terms of rewatchability. Before I would watch this one again. If you're talking about Viva la différence. If we're talking about what are some of his best quality directed films in terms of high quality, this would be towards the top. I agree with you. But you you just what is it? What so what is it you don't? You I just hate don't, these people. <laughs> I hate but them. Why? Because they're all terrible. Not in the end. And everybody's terrible. All human pe beings have faults. Oh, I agree with and you. Awful humans are awful. Parts of their persona that, that can doesn't come mean out. I want to live with them. Why do you think I hate most people and don't want to hang out with them? But if you're there long enough, you can see that underneath. If I'm there their, long enough, I want to kill myself. Yeah, no. <laughs> I am still a believer in humanity. That there's more good than bad. Oh no, that. I haven't thought that forever. Uh, <laughs> let us know what you thought. Well, and then the if movie. you then. Then if you hate these people yeah. and you think people suck, yeah. then this should fulfill your expectation that people suck and you should love it all the more. That makes no sense what you just said. You think people suck? Yeah, I do. That's a movie about people who suck. Yeah, I agree with then you. Then why don't you like it? That is, that's not what I said. I do like it. As much as you should if you think people suck. You should the say, only ah, thing this I, fulfills everything I've ever said about people sucking. The only thing I'm arguing is I don't want to live with these you're people, closeted, hence I'm not going to rewatch You're a closeted it. optimist. I you're a pessimist, but it's it's only by by the fact that you're choosing to be. I think deep down you're actually an optimist because you know people suck, but deep down you believe they should be good. That's your optimist talking. <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, uh, we do, uh, regardless, need to get to uh, Student more. of the Year. Because, uh, yeah, uh, if, I guess if, so. If that is his, I mean, you need to watch that. I, I, I don't know yeah. if you've seen it. I, I, don't, I have not seen it, it yet. Came, it's on my, I have it on a list. Sh I don't know if she's seen it. Because it came out later, She may not. I don't know if she had seen it. She may not. Uh, but it's it's very good. Um, there's one character towards the beginning that I uh, I didn't like, but uh, you could probably look past it. Um, but it's it's uh, we we really enjoyed that one. Um, that one I would definitely watch again. Uh, it is also about broken people, not like this one though. Um, but I guess we do need to get to uh, student of the year. Yeah, let's do it. Um, at, at and I'll point. watch that one. Um, but anyways, Kank lovers, let me know. Yeah, yeah, you're out there. Uh, let, let us know. You thought in terms of rewatchability, is this your favorite? And no one is going to say yes. My wife, Rick. my wife loves this film. It, I pr I promise you, if I ask her right now, what Karen Johar film would you rewatch the most? I promise you, it would not be Kank. I, it probably she, wouldn't be Kank. Even if she loves it. Yeah, no, it probably. And I know she loves be. it. Yeah. That's true. I probably wouldn't be Kate. <laughs> I, I can almost some guarantee your house you. bit me and sucked the blood out of me like it was some freaking. Anyway, there were mosquitoes everywhere. Anyways, let us know you thought about Kank. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your thoughts on it are. Uh, what should be our next uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Rani? I want to see every movie that Rani's uh, ever done. Yeah, she's so good. Love. Uh, what if she has one more with. Uh... We didn't see her most recent one. No, no, no. She has one with Shah Rukh Khan that I think they get together in. What was it? Uh, somebody told me about it. Uh, no, we've heard about it, obviously. No, they, they just now told me about it. But they reminded me of it. And, you know, we love watching Ronnie actually get shafted by Shavu Khan. Yeah, no, it was about time that we finally got to see a Ronnie get together with Shah Rukh. That was a legit sex scene, too. That was awesome. That's another thing I loved. Full job. Uh, I'm trying to find where somebody told me about it. Oh, another thing I've... 
as much as I disliked his coffee laziness, hats <laughs> off to Shah Rukh Khan. He never missed the physicality of the limp. Never. Oh, yeah, he, he kept that going. He kept that in every freaking scene. Which one is it, guys? Let me know, because I'm not finding it here. I th I swear... I'm sure 50 of them just put it in the comments. Somebody... So, um, just read the comments on this, and we'll know. Uh, uh, no. Can't find it. Anyways, let us know in the comments below what you think about the movie, and which we be our next movie that we should review of all these people. Let us know down below. <laughs>